Hey guys, Brandon Willem coming to you from the 2019 K Love Fan Awards red carpet. And I'm with Micah Tyler, a guy who uh, kicked all this off on Friday night. Yeah, I was just, my, my, my mantra was don't mess this up. You could screw up the whole weekend. And we didn't screw it up, so. You did screw it, it up, right. and you did something a little bit special, too. A parody of we I did. Can Only Imagine. I did. How did that come about? Well, I was on tour with Mercy Me. I heard the song 34 times in a row, 34 nights in a row, and I couldn't get it out of my head, so I thought I could use the information for something else. So it was just an easier way to do it. No, I wanted to do something unique to kind of start the weekend off. They're going to hear a lot of people play with bands this weekend, so I thought, you know, they're probably not going to hear a whole lot of four-part a cappella um, with myself. So I thought, let's just try something different. So we did. Has Bart seen it yet? Have you seen him here yet today? Uh, he, is, he, he did see it, um, <laughs> and, and I, we're not allowed to talk to each other right now, but I've, I'm going to send him a, a gift. And just, I'm, if you're Bart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. He's, he was cool with it. He loved it. It was great. And you got to spend a lot of time with him again in the fall anyway. I do. That's yeah, it would be awkward right if it wasn't going well, because we're going to be doing like 25 more cities together with me and Crowder and Mercy Me come up this fall. It's going to be so fun. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Yeah, so just a couple years ago at K-Love and Dove, we were talking about how cool it was for you to even be here because you were here as a fan. Oh. Now here we are two years later, not even that long. You've already performed like multiple times at right. these. What's been your favorite memory so far of these award shows? Man, uh, honestly, probably last year, I got to be a part of the singer-songwriter night. So I opened the whole thing up and moved out of the way as guys like Stephen Curtis Chapman and Mike Weaver from Big Daddy Weave and just these guys who just – have, have held up this industry for years, got up there and told these stories. And it just reminded me the power of a story, the power of a song and how much, man, I know it's been a couple years. I still am so excited to be here right now. And I'm a fan of We Are Messengers and Torin Wells and the guys who've been walking through here. And so I'm looking forward, not only just get to sing a song tonight, but also get to like watch everybody else and cheer on my friends. It's gonna be awesome. Speaking of those bands and artists that have been around for a while, next weekend, DC Talk, Jesus Freak Cruise. Yeah. How cool is that? You go from K-Love to your, you're going down in the Caribbean. Junior like, High Micah cruise. is so excited right now. Now, I'm bringing my kids with me. They're, they're 13, 11, and 5, and they don't understand how big of a deal this is. For them, like, Micah is to DC Talk as they are to John Christ, who will be on the <laughs> ship too. And so, like, I'm pumped, but they're like, yeah, 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 but where's John Christ going to be? So I got I to gotta holler at John and get him over and say hi at some point. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're not going on the DC Talk Cruise, you'll be able to watch the K-Love Fan Awards on TBN next Sunday, June 9th. Right. You can get all the TV listings at ccmmagazine.com. Thanks, Micah. Hey, man, absolutely.